All right, so the last time we chatted, I had took this puppy out for a ride, and I ran pretty smooth, but one of the problems I was having, I kept burning that spark plug, and that'll be the spark plug on the uh, uh, number five. If you check this out, that's not good. That's definitely a misfire. That spark is getting through this boot and uh, going wherever it pleases instead of into that spark plug and down through that cylinder. So, uh... That's not even the uh, the first wire. Matter of fact, here's the second wire. I mean, this is the first wire. As you can see, I, I took the boot off. The wire is still good. You just gotta change the boot. So I burnt two of these. So I burned this one, and I just figured maybe you know I, I didn't have it on there because uh, I have this this cover, the sleeve. I figured maybe the sleeve wasn't on there right. So. I readjusted it and put another wire on there, come back, and that one was burnt up too. So now it's time to make a change. And uh, as you can see, the sleeve pretty much did its job where uh, it didn't melt the sleeve. The, the plug was actually burned inside of the sleeve, but the sleeve doesn't have a hole like, you know, the heat burnt through the sleeve or anything. It's just it got too hot and kept melting there. So, I ain't mad at you, sleeve. Don't even trip. I'm going to put you back. But uh, I keep burning this wire. And thank goodness that I'm not the first person who ever tried to put a turbo on a V8 or such and such or whoever had a, a burnt spark plug wire. This has happened millions of times before me. I'm just experiencing it now. So pretty much whatever problems you having, somebody already didn't had it. And somebody already didn't created a fix for it to where you don't have to worry about it no more, long as you know about that fix. Remember, if you check my previous videos when I was installing the turbo, I drilled the uh, the uh, turbo drain fitting in the oil pan in the wrong place and the starter wouldn't go back because the starter was too big and come to find out they make mini starters, whew, it just saved me. Bought a mini starter, put it on, I was fine. Now I'm having uh, spark plug wires burning because the uh, spark plug boot is too close to the exhaust and all that kind of good stuff. Well, guess what? Somebody been having that problem. They came up with this. Excel and other companies too. This just Excel is the one I bought. They make a uh, small spark plug. So therefore, as you can see, that Excel spark plug is shorter than the, uh, the previous one I had on there. So the Excel one is shorter. Let me get it right. Mm, about right there. So this plug was the one I had on there, okay? And this tip was too close to the exhaust manifold and it kept burning the uh, kept burning the uh, spark plug wire boot because it's close. Now, you put a shorter spark plug in there. Now that tip isn't way back here where this one is. It's further towards the block. So giving you that, you know, that, that extra space between the exhaust manifold or the header and the uh, spark plug wire boot. So I bought these bad boys. I'm going to put that on. Put that on. And guess what? Excel also. I'll show it to you later. Cause see that white pack over there? It's in that pack. And uh, I can't hold the camera and open it. So I'll show it to you later. Me being who I am. Uh, I probably shouldn't be saying this. But uh, I'll be half stepping, man. I was going to put that one spark plug in here. And check the clearance. And then, uh, you know, everything work out, leave it in there. And then leave the other seven spark plug the same as these. So pretty much I'm going to have seven same spark plugs and one different. I know y'all going to talk about me. And uh, some of y'all probably like, nah, don't do that, don't do that. But I was going to do that. But I, I thought about it. I went ahead and bought eight of them. I'm going to change them all out. These plugs been in here in, what, one drive? two drives, something like that, and uh, they good plugs, I'm gonna hang on to them, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change all eight of them instead of just changing that one, so uh, let me let me get these plugs in here, and um, I can't take it for a ride, I don't know if you can see, but uh, can y'all see that, where I live, oh, I can't get through this, one. oh yeah, there we go, it's raining, I don't drive this hoopty in, hoopty in the rain, so when the weather permits, take this bad boy for a test spin, by the way, the car right there covered up. That's my Integra. That's what I've uh, been, all the, 
knowledge that I know about turbo came from that car. Putting it on Integra. I had a tur turbo car before that one, but I didn't know much. I ended up selling it over something that I could have kept the car for, but I know better now. So it's all good. But that car outside has the turbo on it. I didn't had it for a few years with the turbo and I didn't learned a lot of knowledge over the years. And I'm just applying it to this Camaro. So uh, let me get just park plugs on here. I talk too much, man. I just wanted to take a time out to do a honorable mention. Cause uh, man, it's making my life so much easier. I don't know if you have one of these. It don't necessarily have to be this long or, you know, double-sided or whatnot. But this right here, it's a 5.8 uh, 12-point closing or whatever you want to call it. But it had a bend on it. Come on, camera. Zoom in. I mean, uh, focus. Whatever you want. Come on now. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. There we go. That is bend on it. Oh man, that bend. You ever have a tool that's just been good to you? Like, faithfully just been good to you? I love you. <clears throat> anyway, this tool right here come in handy, man. You know, sometimes, for uh, instance, let me just show you. For well, this spark plug right here, you can't get a socket on the back of it. Because it's too close to this uh this exhaust tube right here. So that that tool that I was talking about that's been good to me. Oh man, I just slide this thing on the back of that spark plug. And because it has a bend, it kind of go in deep, but the uh, actual handle part stay out. And man, I get these spark plugs off just so nice. So uh so far I haven't used a socket on the first uh three. That one is the one that's been burning. Oh, I use a socket on this one. This one is in the open. Um, this bad boy right here is in the open. It's just straight back. You know what I'm saying? So I, I put a socket on that one. I lied. I put one on that. But the ones where the tubes is in the way, like this number five and this number one right here, if you could probably make one, if you got a, a, a what you call them dang on things, you can bolt to your, uh, you can bolt down vice grip. Not a vice grip, but. A vice. If you got a vice and you can put you a 5 8 wrench in there, and if you got arms big like mine and bend it, you know what I'm saying? Just just put a little pressure on it and put a bend to it. This right here comes in handy. But also, you know, I got my little arsenal right here. Uh, I got two types of. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm babbling again, but. I got two different length uh, spark plug sockets. You know, these come in handy. And try to use a socket also that, the uh, actual spark plug socket where you can put a quarter inch wrench on the back or 19, quarter inch, 19, they both the same. So if you can't get a ratchet on the back of it, you know, you just put the, the wrench on the back and you can bust it loose like that. But like I say, that's good, you know, but for me, it's my baby. It's my baby right here. All right, and we back. I got all the spark plugs in. My son supervised me, make sure I was doing it right. So I got them all in. And uh, remember that white package I told you I needed to open? That white package right there, Nava? This is what was inside of it. That's the part number. I'm showing you the part number first. But it's a, uh, it's made by uh, Excel again. Yeah, made by Excel again. And, um, it's one of them uh, ceramic spark plug boots. You can buy the boot alone and uh, put it to your wire. But the ones I was looking at, they say they fit uh, eight millimeter wires. My wires is an 8.8, .8, so I didn't trust uh, buying that one and it don't fit. But I probably could have made it fit. I could have shaved my wire down just a little bit to get it inside that boot. But um, I ended up buying a whole wire and uh you heard that that was this boot this is not your typical ordinary boot let me show you that again listen it's ceramic it's hard it's like it's not ivory but it reminds you of ivory it's like a hard plastic and uh the center of it is rubber but uh 
the ones that melt, they rubber. So that you know one can break the plastic one? Yeah, that one's made to take better heat. Like I say, these was melting. Mm -hmm. So they answer to the problem was to make this uh, ceramic boot. And uh, for those who uh, just, uh, how can I say this? If you're having clearance issues with the spark plug and the uh, spark plug wires and the exhaust manifold, and you only have a little bit of clearance, I recommend buying the shorties and using these. Because if I was using the same length, uh, uh, how can I say, the, the original length spark plugs, this wouldn't go on. Because this don't flex. You know, your, your, your old spark plug boots, they're flex. You kind of bend them to get them on in uh, small spaces. But uh, this bad boy right here, if you short on space, you ain't getting this on. So if you plan on using... Uh, all right, I got 39 seconds. But anyway, my phone ran out of memory. Use the short spark plugs and this boot. Because if you need space, just buying this boot ain't going to work. Because uh, it's not going to bend and flex to get it on. So let me get this thing on here real quick. All right, so like I was saying, this thing is hard. So uh, you're going to have to have enough room to get it in there without trying to flex and bend on it. So you have to put the back part together. I didn't film that because I'm running out of time on my phone. Uh, my memory is low. So I put the uh, the back boot on the wire, put it on the distributor, and now I'm going to put this on the uh, on the spark plug. So I'll be back. All right. So I got everything back together. I got the boot on there. I put the sleeve back on it. be honest, I don't even think I need the sleeve. I just put it on for extra precaution. But uh, I'm going to end this video because I got 10 seconds for my phone cut off. Sorry about that. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>